Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post market update dated the 6th of March, 2024. The market staged a remarkable recovery to gain a percent from the day's low and hit new highs on March 6, as the 30 pack Sensex went past 74,000 points for the first time. At close, the Sensex was up 408.86 points, or 0.55%. At 74,085.99, and the Nifty was up 117.70 points, or 0 0.53%, at 22,474, their best closing ever. Top Nifty gainers included Bajaj Auto, Kotak Mahindra Bank, Axis Bank, Bharti Airtel, and SBI Life Insurance, while losers were Ardani Enterprises, Ultratech Cement, NTPC, ONGC, and BPCL. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Indraprastha Gas Limited shares plunged 6% on March 6, a day after MGL cut prices of compressed natural gas, CNG, by 2.5 rupees a kilogram. The price was reduced due to a dip in gas input costs, MGL told exchanges on March 5. CNG now offers savings of 53% compared to petrol, and 22% compared to diesel at the current levels in Mumbai, it said. In the past year, IGL stock has fallen over 4%, underperforming benchmark Nifty 50 which has gained 26% during the period. IFL Finance Limited shares plunged 20% on March 6. IFL Finance Limited said on March 6 that shareholder Fairfax India has agreed to provide up to $200 million liquidity support to the company days after Reserve Bank of India barred the NBFC from disbursing gold loans. Fairfax India Holdings Corp., a long-standing investor in IIFL Finance Limited, has announced its commitment to provide liquidity support amidst the recent Reserve Bank of India RBI, embargo effective March 5, 2024, on the company's gold loan disbursements, said IIFL Finance in a stock exchange filing. Shares of Mahanaga Gas Limited fell over 14% lower on March 6 after brokerage firm City downgraded the stock to sell from buy and cut its target price. The brokerage downgraded the stock as oil minister Hardeep Puri emphasized that the full benefits of natural gas sector reforms haven't reached end customers. Puri stated the government's commitment to ensuring compliance by city gas companies for affordable rates. Monopolies in licensed areas have led to strong profits for city gas firms, and Puri emphasized the need for enforcement. The share price of Torrent Pharma hit a 52-week high of 2,745.55 rupees in the opening trade on March 6 after a successful inspection by the US FDA. The US FDA has issued an establishment inspection report for company's Gujarat manufacturing facility, and the inspection has now been successfully closed by the regulator. The US FDA conducted pre-approval inspection at the company's oral oncology manufacturing facility in Bileshwar Pura. Gujarat, from December 5, 2023 to December 11, 2023. The company in the quarter ended December 2023 had posted a 56.5% jump in its net profit, to 443 rupees crore. Shares of India Bulls real estate fell 9% on March 6, a day after India Bulls Industrial Infrastructure and India Bulls Real Estate received vacation order from MIDC for a land, in the Nashik SEZ. On March 6, the Maharashtra Industrial Development Corporation issued a vacation order for India Bulls Real Estate and its subsidiary India Bulls Industrial Infrastructure to vacate the land within one month of receipt of order. According to a regulatory filing by the company, India Bulls Industrial Infrastructure was in the process of planning and conducting further development on the land at the SEZ and had submitted a preliminary proposal of revival plan with the MIDC. Additionally, India Bulls Real Estate is evaluating legal options to defend itself against the order which they term unlawful. Nakoda Group of Industries Limited in daily timeframe is trading around 56.15 points with a change of 19.98% and is trading with a net volume of around 466.567 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 51.91 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 54.33. Lotus Eye Care Hospital Limited in daily time frame is trading around 74.60 points with a change of 
0.94% and is trading with a net volume of around 4.997 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 65.56 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 54.93. Tata Chemicals Limited in daily time frame is trading around 1178.45 for points with a change of 18.968% and is trading with a net volume of around 4.997 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 1027.78, which is a good indication for the stock. While shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 79.77. For the stock recommendation we have, Sun Pharma Limited looks good and can be bought at 1,604 rupees, keeping a stop loss of 1,560 rupees and a target of 1,648 rupees. You can reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!